Kanji, good afternoon. We greet you in the name of the FC. We greet you in the name of change. Change is coming to Guyana. I want to tell you, every five years our constitution gives us the power to have a national elections. And that time is now. We have had five years again to add to the PPP's tenure of 19 years. And what do we have to show for those years? We have a Barbies bridge and we're grateful. We have some roads but they broke, break up three times a year. So they got to do it three times a year. We got some schools that are going to be broken again and again. We got some hospitals that are going to be broken again and again. But what we do not have is an ability of the people to run their country. This Jagdeo administration has taken the power away from the people to be the deciders of their own destiny. And that is the change we're talking about. In 1992, when Dr. Jagan fought for the restoration of democracy, that was the vision that we were going to have the people of Guyana deciding how they charter a future for themselves, for their children, and for their grandchildren. Now, look at our migration rate, especially in Barbies. Look at our suicide rate, especially in Barbies. Is that the future that we want for our Barbicians? Why are we having such a situation? Dr. Jagan preached a message of no extravagance. Did you remember that message? No extravagance in government. Today we have the Jagdeo administration spending one billion dollars in international travel all over the, gla the globe. Who is paying for that, my brothers and sisters? I ask you, who is paying for that? Taxpayers are paying for them to go on jaunts and bacchanals in Trinidad and all over the globe. Well, that ends in 2011. That ends in 2011. The Alliance for Change will redirect most of that money towards projects that are going to be helping the people. And I'll tell you one of the things that we are committed to in policy. Every month, the, those who are over 65 years of age get a pension of $7,500. $7,500. You know, a, 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 an agency did a study that shows bare minimum a family can survive, bare minimum on $58,000 a month. And this Jagdeo administration gives a pension of $7,500. We in the FC knows that we can do better than that. And we'll tell you how we'll do better than that. Because one of the things that this Alliance for Change government will promise you, we will not make a promise we cannot keep. And we will show you how we're going to fund what we are promising you here tonight. The Minister of Human Services says to our Miss Holder, she got 44,000 pensioners on the pensions register. Well, I don't know, but Guyana only has 750,000 people. And in 2002, when we did the census, we had under 30,000 people over 65. When you check it, Guyana cannot have 44,000 pensioners. We, our growth rate is growing at 1.1% every year. We tell the minister, okay, we can grow it five times that to just give you the benefit of the doubt. You know what we found? There was only 34,000 possible pensioners can be on the list. Where is the pension going for the 10,000 phantom pensioners? Where it is going, we will tell you that money will be pumped back into the pensioners' salary. 
and it will be we in the FC committing from day one. That $1.3 billion will go towards raising the pension to $11,000 a month for pensioners. It will not be going to the private pockets of public senior public officials. That has to change and that is what makes us in the Alliance for Change different from the PNC and the PDP because we understand the pains of the working people of this country. We came from the working class. When you look at our presidential candidate, Mr. Ramjatan, he came from the, the salt of the earth of Babis. He understands your issues and we appeal to you to give us one chance. One chance. And if we cannot deliver what you have in your mind that we're promising you, kick us out. We are telling you, kick us out. We either do it or we do not do it. And if we do not do it, kick us out. But we're asking you here tonight, give us that chance in 2011 to show the PNC, and let me make this clear, APNU is nothing else but the PNC. It's just a ploy to fool people. The PNC had power for 28 years, and they did not take people to where they promised them. The PPP is going on to 20 years, and it's just lies and more lies. We are asking you for one term to make a change. We cannot deliver everything or undo all the damage that the PPP has done in the last 20 years. But in five years, we know we will turn the tide in this country. We will turn the tide. You know, the inequity in this country is so vast that that vision that when we had the dawn of the new RA in 1992, the vision was to reduce the gap between the haves, which is the rich, and the have-nots. Now, we're not preaching here to make rich people poor at all. We want everybody to get more rich. But we want the poorer class of people to get a bit more of the economic pie that the government has. That was the vision in 1992. Now, today, we have ministers of the government building 100, 200 million, 300 million, and King Kong building 500 million dollar house today. 500 million dollars the Kabaka of today is building. 500 million dollars this house is costing. Which one of you can afford a 500 million dollars on taxpayer money? Which one of you? The Kabaka flies around the world and I call him the Kabaka because that is how he operates, like a Kabaka. $500 million house he billing with taxpayer money. That ends when the elections are held with an AFC government. And let me put them on notice. Let us put them on notice. All the skullduggery, all the skullduggery they're getting on with. We will bring forensic auditors. Forensic auditors that will look at all the skullduggery one by one. And where the chips fall, they shall fall. Where the chips fall, they shall fall. As I was talking about the pension, I just want to remind you. My dear Mr. Kabaka, and y'all know what we're talking about, right? King Kong. Yes. Y'all know who's King Kong. Yes. But because of the police and stuff, we got, you know, he could sue me, but we can't sue him. So we got to call him King Kong. But y'all know what we're talking about. Yeah. King Kong pension every month. You know it's how much? Three million dollars a month in cash and kind he will be getting when he leave office in December. King Kota can't even get $10,000 pension. Where is the fairness in this PPP government? Where is the fairness? It is time for a change. Time to change direction in this country. And I ask of all of you, we know it's a tough decision. In 2006, it was a tough decision for people like me when we went into that 
to walk away from the PNC and walk away from the PPP. But we had to make a choice. 30,000 Guyanese made that decision in 2006. We were asking 130,000 Guyanese this time to vote for the FC and vote them out of office, vote the PPP out of office. 130,000 will give us victory and that is what we're going for. An AFC government is going for victory. We ain't going for no middle ground. 51 plus percent is the AFC is going for. Victory outright or with the strength of the ordinary people in this country. You know, I want to tell you something. As a young person, I am keenly focused on jobs. Because for me, a country is nothing if it doesn't have enough jobs being created every day, every minute, every second for its young people and those who are looking for jobs. And I will tell you, we will not be buying no laptop from no barber. No barber. This is how we will use the, lap the desktops and laptops to create jobs for our people. The Alliance for Change will be putting desktop computers, as John Das was saying, in every single secondary and primary school. But you know what we will be doing? We will be bringing the parts from Taiwan and China and we will be assembling those desktop computers at Hampshire Industrial Estate, at Collingen Industrial Estate, at Linden Industrial Estate, at Escribo Industrial Estate, at Rupert Mooney Industrial Estate. Yes. And we will be creating thousands of jobs for young people who want a job. That is the innovation. You cannot grow a country without jobs. And this is why we are different from the PPP. And we all know the PNC is a lost cause. They've been out of government forever, so they don't even have a clue what's going on. Well, this is a fight between the PPP and the Alliance for Change. And we shall change them. We shall change them. You know, in the old days, we used to have regional workshops in all 10 regions. You know those things served the purpose? When the PPP came into power, they scrapped all. They served the purpose. It was the training ground for the young chaps and girls who were coming out to the technical institutes to continue learning their skills in auto electrician, auto mechanic, air conditioning, wiring, all these key skills that the nation needs. Carpentry, mason, whatever. They scrap it all, denying young people jobs. And what they do? They then pawn off all those jobs. To who? To who did they pawn off all those big money jobs to? And contracts. To the business buddies of the PPP. The business cabal that sits around like leechers and suckers around the PPP, sucking your money from you. Well, we shall tell you, we will bring that back. We shall take you, brother. I don't know we got to find them. But, but, but I tell you something. We shall put those 10 central workshops back as the, the laboratory to train our young people in auto electrician, auto mechanic, air conditioning, electrical work, and all other technical skills so that they can serve this nation sensibly, usefully, and gainfully. And we appeal to you to understand our vision is about jobs, jobs, jobs. That is what our focus on. Ladies and gentlemen, I know there's one thing that bothers provision a lot. And I'm coming to a close, but I want to at least touch on that. Crime. Crime, crime, crime. There's a lot of fear in this county of Barbies. We know that. The people tell us about it every single day. When the British government went to the PPP and says, we will help you solve the crime. We will put $1.6 billion 
to help you fix the crime situation. You know what the PPP tell them? You know what? Give me the money, but yeah, we want y'all come. Give me the money, but we want y'all come. What are you going to do with the money? Tell me! What are you going to do with the money? Tell me! Well, you see, the British are more smart than them. The British said, no way. If y'all in love, we to look it over, we ain't coming. When we talk to the British and we're committing to implement that $1.6 billion in police reform, we don't want to deny police promotion. We want to help them. We want to give them the tools. We want to give them the capacity to be able to more actively fight crime in this country so that we all can go to bed at night rather than being prisoners in our own home. We are right now prisoners in our own home with all those steel grills. We want to stop that where we go back to the days when we can sit in our veranda and open the grill door and not worry that a bandit is going to be jumping on us. Because the police will be functional again. So, reform it is called. Everybody can change and we will help the police change and improve. We will help. We will help. And lastly, I want to talk on this issue of racism. 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 You guys need to understand this. The PPP will come to you in a month or two time to tell you that the EFC is going to split the vote. They will come to you and tell you that the AFC is going to split the vote. But let's make it very clear. The FC is not in the game to split no vote. We are in the game to win the elections. We are in the game to win these elections. We are not interested in splitting no votes. The party has made a policy statement that we shall not join the PNC or the PPP before the elections. And there is a reason for that. There is a clear reason for that and we need to understand the PPP goes to the Indian bottom house and preach racism and then the PNC goes to the afro Guyanese bottom house and preach marginalization well the EFC ain't into that we are not into that we are going to grow all the ships will rise with an AFC tide all the ships will rise with an AFC tide because Guyana cannot develop without black people and it cannot develop without Indian people. We got to work together or we die together. Let's get this clear. We got to work together. And if we don't work together, the PPP and the PNC now calling themselves up you will use you and abuse you and take advantage of you. They've done it for 50 years. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Time for them to go. Time for change in Guyana. Time for the FC. God bless the FC and God bless Guyana. Thank you very much.